guys, what's poppin'? It's your boy Anton back again with another video and today I will be your host for Are You Smarter Than a Teacher? Let's get started, shall we? Now introducing the teachers. I saw this physics teacher with a piece of graph paper yesterday. I think he must be plotting something. Give it up for Mr. Taylor. He's a proud Monte Vista Matador, but today he is fighting for the Vikings. Everyone say hello to Mr. Lee. She loves to rhyme, she loves to bake. Let's see what she has cooking for us today. Give it up for Mrs. Levin. Yay. All right. So today's first category is math. 2021, you are up. Now let's dive into the first question. What is the sum of the exterior angles of a regular dodecagon? Michael Zhao of 2021, what is your answer? I think a dodecagon has 30 degree exterior angles. And then there are like 10 of them, but like, okay. Hmm. Maybe it's 12. Uh, there's, oh, sorry, dodecagon is 12. Oh, yes, there's 12 of them. B, Okay. 3600. Let's be your uh, final uh, answer. Yeah, sure. Oh, <laughs> Just like a 90 degree angle, you are right. B, 3600 degrees. You guys are correct. All right, now moving on to math question two. If 4x plus 3y equals to 18xy and 2xy minus 5y plus 4xy equals zero, then what are the values of x and y respectively? Reckoning 2022 audio, versus okay. the teachers. Teachers, do you guys have any strategies of how you're approaching this question? My strategy is to wait for an essay question. <laughs> okay, I'm busting Grammar, out a punctuation. paper. We got some literature questions coming up, so. Cool, cool, cool. I have a vague memory of doing this sort of work when I was in high school, but um, it's been a minute. Yeah. <laughs> How about you guys, 2022? Oh, I really hate math. I really suck at math. Like, oh. We need some positive energy. Oh, Sean's raising his hand. Is the answer yeah. C? Um, would you like to discuss with your team first? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I did the math. I plugged things in. I'm gonna yeah. trust you on that, Sean. I trust Sean. And I believe the answer is C. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. Okay, yeah. C, one half and one third is correct. Congratulations, 2022. You guys get one point as well. Now moving on to the third question for the math category. How many prime numbers are there in the list 112, 123, 1,234, 12,345, and 123,456? 2023 versus teachers, Mr. Lee. All right, like I, feel like, I feel like we figured this out, teachers. It has to be either one or two. Num num one for sure, 123, I feel like that could be a prime number. Everything else isn't, for sure. Yeah, the other ones are divisible by twos or fives, so let's go yeah. with one. What, Mr. Taylor, what do you think? Mr. Teacher, is 123 a prime number? What do you think? Is that? All right, what should we, what should we go for? Should we stay B or C, one or two? I think it's, I was going between zero or one. Isn't the rule that if, if you add up the numbers in a number, okay. and it's divisible. How many prime numbers? Uh, All right, unfortunately, your time is up. Oh, okay, what? let's go with one. Uh, B, B. 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 B1 is unfortunately incorrect. Oh, oh poop. No. It was oh, probably wait. zero, huh? All right, 2023, do you guys have an answer? I think it's zero, right, A? Is that our final answer? Guys. All right, A0 is correct. 2023 oh. also gets a point. Curses. <laughs> you got bamboozled. All right, now for the final question in math category. For oh, 2024, no. if three sine theta plus five cosine theta is equal to five, then what is the value of five sine theta minus three cosine theta? Jeffrey from 2024, that was quick. Would you like a moment to discuss with your team? Yeah. Okay. Jeffrey, I have no so, idea what to do. Whatever you no, want. So if sine, sine 90 should be, wait, sine zero is zero. 
and cosine zero is one. Yeah, that's so correct. Three times zero plus five times one equals five. So this theta will be theta will be um, zero. And then okay. sine zero is still. You guys have five seconds to come up with that. I would say I would say b negative three plus minus three. B plus minus three. That is correct. Congratulations, 2024. Now for a score update, each of the classes have gotten their point from the teachers and the teachers currently have stolen zero points. Now for the next category, random. 2021, you are up. Which of these words, when typed in the formal manner, can be typed only using the left hand? Mr. Lee, you went first. All right, what is your answer? Yeah, D is right. D freezers. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. D Thank freezers, you. and that is correct. Teachers, you have successfully <laughs> stolen the first point. Congratulations. All right, now moving on to question two for Randall. What was the first feature-length animated film ever released? I'll give you guys a hint. They're all produced. This film uh, is produced by Walt Disney Productions. I have an answer. And Mrs. Levin, you raise your hand first. What is your answer? I'm going with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Other teachers, what do you think? B, 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 B. You think Fantasia came out before Snow White, which is in the 20s? Oh. Maybe not. Yeah, pretty sure Snow White came out in the 20s or 30s. All right, C, Snow White. <laughs> is that our final answer? Yeah, I trust Miss Levin. Yeah, me too. Okay, yes. See Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. That is correct. Congratulations, teachers. Great job, guys. Great job. All right, now moving on to question number three for random. Which nut is used to make dynamite? 2023, teachers. Samantha, what is your answer? Or would you like Wait. to discuss routine first? Almonds have cyanide mm -hmm. in them, right? Am I crazy? I or they have like some sort of poisonous thing in them, I'm pretty sure. Any I other I people wanna? Before though. What? I think I read something about pine nuts before though. Okay. You might I might be wrong. Other members of 2023, you guys have any answers? Okay. What's your final um, answer? Um. Remember, you only you guys only have ten seconds to discuss. So. Um. I guess we'll just go with almonds then. A almonds. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Teachers, do you do you have an answer? I don't okay. know. Yes. 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 The answer is C. Peanuts. Peanuts. I'd go with peanuts. D. Peanuts. peanuts. That is correct. Great job, teachers. You're doing great this round. Okay, real quick, I just want to say I'm glad we got the point, but peanuts are not nuts. Just, just saying, just saying. They're legumes. They're, they're legumes. They're beans. Anyway. Interesting, though. All right, question number four, random. When did Prince William and Kate Middleton get married? Anshul. Yeah, uh, Jeffrey, uh, so it's probably, I'm thinking 2012 or 2013. I don't know who these guys are, to be honest. Bruh. <laughs> They're part of the British Royal Family. I think, uh, do you want to just go 2012? Yeah, yeah you, you just choose. All right, C, 2012. C, 2012. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Teachers, you have an opportunity to sweep this round. I don't know, guys. I would guess 13, but I, that's not a very confident guess. I think well, we should let's go with it. it. Yeah, yeah, so that, yeah, yeah, let's go 2013. D, 2013, unfortunately, that is incorrect as well. The answer was B, uh -huh. 2011. Right. So, though, great job, teachers. As we move on to the next category, literature. Yes. I miss Levin. This is your turn. Question number one. Which of Shakespeare's plays features a source, sorcerer named Prospero? All right, Miss Levin, looks, looks like your hand got raised first. What is your answer? C, The Tempest. C, The Tempest. That is correct. Great job. Yeah. Teachers are on a roll right now. All right, Watch minutes. out. Let's see if you can get this point back. What writer had more than 70 different pen names? Mm -hmm. 
revolver. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for for D because I've heard of all the other ones. Okay, great. D. Lauren Payne. It pains me to say this, but it is correct. A great job. Point, point, point. Nice work. JK, rolling. <laughs> All right. Point, point, three. You are up next for the literature category. What novel begins with Call Me Ishmael? Miss Levin, that was quick. Uh, Moby Dick, A. Moby Dick, and that is correct. Great job. It seems uh... unfair. <laughs> All right. Point, point, right four. Let's see if you can get this point back. In Alice in Wonderland, which character is most often seen weeping? All right, Mr. Lee, what is your answer? Okay, I don't have, I don't know. I just, I feel like there's just too much tension in the room. <laughs> Dormouse? Dormouse sounds good. I, I don't, I I don't think that it's the Dormouse. Okay, I like the I Griffin think it, then. I think it might be the Griffin. Is Griffin your final answer? Yes. The Griffin is yes. unfortunately incorrect. Oh, shoot. Four. Oh, no. What if it's the Dormouse? All right. Do you think it's the Dormouse? Or well, the let's Mont just Turtle? go with the Dormouse. Sure. Okay. It'll be fine. Right. Be the Dormouse. Unfortunately, that is also All incorrect. Right. This is D, the Mock Turtle. I should be mocking you guys for getting this question wrong. Come on, guys. Hey. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Now, moving on to category four science. Oh, I'm sweet. Let's go. All right. 2021, at which plate boundary is explosive volcanism most likely to occur? Jonathan? Uh, wait, guys, I think it's continent ocean, right? Yeah, I think so. B. Okay. B. B continent yeah, so I'm ocean. thinking. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. Okay. That okay. is wait, I was correct. Thinking... Okay, yeah. Because yeah, you okay. need the water for the mountain. Uh oh. All right, 2022. To gather evidence from cli for climate variation, a dendrochronologist studies. Ms. Levin, do you have an answer? The annual growth of trees. Yes, yeah, see the annual growth of trees, and that is correct. Great job. Oh. Got that etymology for the win. Miss Levin, let's go. Representing science. <laughs> okay, now for question number three. Which astronomer first discovered the sunspots on the surface of the sun? By Mr. Taylor. Since he discovered the telescope, I would guess Galileo Galilei. B. Galileo Galilei. That is correct. Great job, Mr. Taylor. Or should I say Mr. Teacher? <laughs> <laughs> All right, 2024. Every person is different, but just how much do you differ genetically from other humans? This one's a tough question. All right, Anshul, do you have an answer? I, I think it's 0.1% because I know it's like really, really small. But actually, it might be like either they're like really small or like 12%. I think if you want to guess one, then guess either D or A. D or A? Okay. Screen. Yeah. What? Okay. Let's go with D. All right. D. Your final answer? Okay. Yeah. yeah. D, 0.02%, that is not correct. The teachers, you have an opportunity okay. to steal this point. Mrs. Levin? Yeah, I'd like to go with it, C. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, I would say C. I, I would like say. 90% of DNA is just primer material. Yeah. Because well, we share five. so much DNA with like all kinds of creatures, not just other humans. Right, so it should right. be a small number is the, is different then, right? Okay. Yeah, so yeah I, the small okay. number that they didn't guess. I go with C as well. Okay. C? C, C, C. C, C 0.1%, that is correct. Come on, Anshul, you just yeah. need that 0.1% of confidence. All right, oh. now moving on to Limbrook. Question one for 2021, when Limbrook was first established, how many students were enrolled? Jonathan? Oh, wait, we're just gonna guess, guys. Okay, yeah, this doesn't doesn't hurt for us to go guess first, okay. I'm pretty sure. Uh I, th I think <laughs> 1,227 maybe? Or it was C last answer, so let's go with A, B, or D. <laughs> I, I want to go, go with A. I want to go with A. I just want to go with the lowest go number, A. I feel like. A? Right, your final answer? A. A, 1,026. That is correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great job, 2021. 
Rigs, rigs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question two for 2022. When was the Limbrook parking lot renovated and solar panels were added? Um, any ideas, guys? Uh, I think we just have to guess before the teachers. Yeah, go. Let's, let's do yeah. um D D. Yeah, D. Is fine. 2011. Why you? I, I think so. All right, yeah, let's go with D. Okay, D. 2011 is not correct. Teachers, you have another opportunity to help us out here. Point. All right, so Mr. Lee and I weren't here yet. Mr. Teacher, yeah. do you know? I came 2011. Uh, you came, well, they haven't been around that long, so I. Uh, 2010. Yeah, let's go with 10. All right. See. 2010 is not correct either. 2009 is the correct answer. Dang, answer. man. Oh, come on, Mr. Teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number three. Which past math and Smash Mouth member was a Limbrick alum? Emma, do you know? You can listen to uh, one of his songs. Oh, 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 isn't it, um, Greg Camp? I feel like that's the only name I recognize. And my brother talks about this guy all the time. <laughs> yes, this, is, this person does have a Wikipedia page. Famous alumni of the book. What's your final answer, 2023? Go D, Greg Camp, is that correct? Yes, and that is correct. Congratulations. Nice. As he would say, you are an all-star. All right, question number four. And the final question is well be walking on the sun. <laughs> In what year was Limbrook awarded the National Blue Ribbon School? Mr. Lee? Okay, it's it's on our thing, right? Is Wasn't it 2007? Yeah, that was where my eye went first. Um, okay, is, B, is A 2007 your last answer? Let's go okay. with A. Let's do it. All right, A 2007, that is not correct. 2024, uh, you have an opportunity to get back in the game. Uh, you guys have an answer? Know. Yeah, we'll go B, 2008. All right, B, 2008, and that is the correct answer. Great job. Oh, no. Oh. Right, now for the final category. All right, question one. Which U.S. president was the first to appear on television? Michael? Ah, <laughs> uh, so, okay, discussion time. I know Nixon was the first to televised debate. Uh, Wait, Roosevelt was but he the wasn't first president yet. Roosevelt was, so it has to be before um, Nixon, I think. Then, Wait, so, but Roosevelt was mainly a radio. I, I think do Roosevelt because Nixon had a debate, but he didn't win the presidency at that point. JFK was there, so it has to be before Nixon. Okay, Wait, which is FDR. Yeah, let's do Roosevelt. Lincoln. Roosevelt. Okay, so let's do Roosevelt. All right, Wait, Wait, FDR, A, Franklin D. Roosevelt. That is correct. Great job, 2021. <laughs> Looks like a push paid off for you guys. All right, now for question two for history. What is the capital of Morocco? Fun fact, Morocco in Arabic means the place where the sun sets. All right, Ria, 2022, you guys want to get a crack at this? Just like discuss. All right, All right you guys have sure. to discuss. I'm pretty sure it's Rabat. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Wait, okay, let's just go with that, right? Yeah. Oh, D. Yeah, sure. D, D Rabat. I've heard Ani said that before. You Rabat? Yeah. Robot, yeah. Okay, D Robot, and that is correct. Great job, 2022. All right, now question three for history. Which of these countries is not in Asia? Here's a tip it's in the same continent as um, Morocco. Um, looks like Emma, you, you raise your hand first. Would it be Myanmar again? From okay. Myanmar? All right, then we'll go with D, Myanmar. Unfortunately, Myanmar is in Asia. Teachers, would you like them? Would you like to have a chance to answer this question? Yes. I feel please. like it could be Burundi. Burundi. Yeah. Burundi. Yeah. D, Burundi. That is correct. Great job, teachers. Teachers are on a roll. All right, now for the final question of are you smarter than a teacher, 2024. Who was the first American woman to oh, travel oh. to the I think Miss I think Miss Levin was first. What's your answer? Oh, yeah, Sally Ride, D. Woohoo! D, Sally Ride, that is correct. Great job. And she was a teacher. Ooh, fun fact. 
I have a Sally Ride that's t-shirt. Perfect ending. hey All right. Now, now for the final results. All right, for a second, let's tally up the scores and... All right. Now for a tie in third place. We have... 2024 and 2023 with two correct answers. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Can we get a drum roll, please? All right, in second place we have 2022 with three correct answers. And in first place we have 2021 with four correct answers. Great job, everybody. The teachers have successfully stolen 10 points. Great job, teachers. And everyone give a round of applause for them. All right, great job, everybody. Thank you for participating and hope you enjoyed this episode of Are You Smarter Than Teacher? Thank you. That was fun. Thanks, guys. That was a great Thanks time. All. Nice. Nice job. Thank you, guys.